fucking day I was starting the show. I pressed record. I pressed record. I pressed you already record. pressed record? Really? I pressed record. You weren't going to warn me record. <laughs> That's our new intro, everyone. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Abigail, the ultimate guru, and with me, as always, is my, uh, sorry, is my co-host, the world's only comedian. I was going to say my only co-host, which is not, I mean, not what I say. <laughs> it's true. But I guess. Yeah. <laughs> pointless. Yeah. The world's only comedian, Bryden Proctor. I press record. Thanks. Good job. Good job. <laughs> okay. If anyone knows any gurus, and I mean like not like a relationship advice person, I mean no, like street shitting gurus, dude. Like they, yes. they like like nothing but a cloth around their fucking like Indian pecker and cult leader. Okay. Fingernails so long yes. that they curl around. They're all made of like poop. It'd be, it'd be good. Yeah. That okay. He, thank you for getting the poop reference out of the way right off the bat, by the way. They might, though. <laughs> There's a those counter guys, going on that. Those guys don't use the internet, though. I don't think because how they type, you know? They definitely can't use a gotta phone. Gotta find one. Someone can give them a microphone. The point is, I want a guru on the show to just do the show with us <laughs> to help us give advice to people. And don't tell him about, like, what the show is or anything. Just send... The, Give me the inf contact information. Okay, I mean, you're just gonna I'm gonna handle this. You're just gonna make a really long distance call to fucking India. Like he doesn't have to be in India. There's people in California who are taking all of rich people's money that would fit the bill too. Those okay? are those are fucking dog psychics, and I can find them on TikTok if I just make a new account. And I'm like, I'm really interested in this, and then they're gonna charge though. They're gonna well, want we money. We don't want a dog psychic because we don't usually talk about dog problems. How is that a fucking difference between an Indian guru? I saw this fucking documentary the other day. You know, they, there's like a sect of them. There's this whole city, which I think is really neat, where they like bring people to like be burnt to, the, you know, like after they die. Yeah. They cremate over there. Where they burn women. No, they burn men too. They burn everybody. Okay, right. Yeah. They burn everybody. I, I mean, I would like to hear about this more about this women burning. Well, no, because it's but... traditional. It was traditional in India for a very, very long time for widows to jump on the pyre. Like they were forced to. Oh. Like they had no choice. Like you, if your husband died, you get to be burned with his body. That doesn't sound That's like what a, happened. That doesn't sound like a jump. Sounds more like a push. If it's yeah. forced. Well, but... some of them would jump because it's like this whole social thing. It's what's expected. But if you would weren't willing to do it, they would make you do it. <laughs> Damn, I bet it was the sons, too, that were like, Mom, stop embarrassing me. And they pushed her. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Because it's like, there's, that's a huge, it's what you do in their society. Why are you embarrassing the entire family? You have brought shame to us. <laughs> like, you're not I, allowed to live, Mom. The Indians were like that? Because, like, I thought that yeah. they were, like, more, like, you know, sit around, do some yoga, no, yoga fire. that's how... Gabrielle in Xena gets her hair cut is because they're trying to save a widow who is about to be burned alive who does not want to be burned alive. And in the fight, Gabrielle's hair gets cut by a sword, like unintentionally, and then she keeps that haircut for the rest of the series. That's how I know about the widow burning. So it was fucking probably not true then. That's no, cool. it's real. Yeah, Xena and Hercules and all that. No, I'm saying that's okay. It's real. This Buffy. Real. Oh my God! What a thank God Buffy kept us safe through the '90s. She we, did. We could have all been killed. We could have. She prevented like ten apocalypses. I, that show sounds fucking real bad. I. You know how many apocalypses have been averted, and you never even heard of it. Do you know how many? Uh, Zit ellipses are on your. <laughs> you got a zit on your lip. <laughs> it's not what it is. <laughs> I got clawed in the face, but also I do have acne. But that's not acne. <laughs> oh man, imagine being seventy-five with acne. It's pretty bad. I'm not so okay. Look, <laughs> it's just gonna keep going up. I've got a sty. I have going. like a really tiny sty that I hope doesn't a sty come. Sty on your eye. 
Yeah, that's where they live. Before. Yeah, that's like I I never had like a really bad one or anything, but this is like the second one, and I noticed it today, and I'm like, oh man, because I had one one time. It was real small, and it just like hurt. I guess it's when one of your tear ducts gets clogged up. And oh, gross. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's not good. It just kind of looks like a tiny little pimple on your eye. But it's probably very uncomfortable. Yeah, normally it is. So like according to the one time that I've had it and everything that I've looked at on the internet, but it was never like really big. Some of them get like really big and shit. How do you get rid of it? Uh you just wait. Oh, like you can like yeah. you can with a clean finger rub around the tear duct is like, you know, what you what you can do. Um so I'm just going to probably pick at it with my dirty fingers and see if it gets worse. <laughs> that's probably that's probably what everyone does, to be perfectly honest uh, with you. Humans are gross. I think that's what I'm going to do, is look at it in the mirror while I'm drunk and after I didn't wash my hands. Just poke at it. Yeah, just touch it a bunch. Okay, this is disgusting. <laughs> I don't. This is not good content. The point is that we are looking for a guru, but secondarily... Uh, maybe primarily, actually, we are looking for an Orthodox Christian who is in, who is interested and knowledgeable about Flat Earth and the Nephilim. Yeah. Okay. We're going to talk about this on a bonus episode with you. If you have a microphone, that would be great. <laughs> that would be ideal. Yeah, I'm not going to read. I'm not going to read like you just because like you're a neckbeard and like you you talk like this. Even if you talk like this, this would be fine, but you need to have a microphone to talk like this. Yes, you can talk like that, but have a microphone. And I will try my best to not mimic you until I start doing pickleback shots, and then it's screwed for you, dude. I'm sorry. I may even like you, but there's no way. So if you got it's like a, a really gay... It's a you, Yeah, it's it is. It's a disease. I, it is, it, dude, I suffer from realness, okay? So... <laughs> If, yeah. if you if you got a gay voice and you're really weird, then I'm gonna eventually make fun of it. But you know, don't be yeah. afraid to come on to the show. It'd be fine. Just <laughs> just have a decent goddamn mic because that's the only time I will legitimately ever be my, be mad at you. He freaks out, dude. And also, don't own a mic and then come on the show without it. Oh yeah. Then he freaks out at people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't don't. It's very funny to me and then he like walks away in the middle of the tech situation i'm like i'm i'm really sorry about him you know he just gets he gets really uh worked up about the audio well if you quality. own a goddamn mic if you own a goddamn it's not a great audio quality on this show if you own a goddamn mic don't go really like, yeah i'm on my iphone in my car smoking weed eat shit dude to that so was many just... people that have done that I, 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 I'm calling you all out. So many people. And the, you guys, the listeners, you don't know. So many people have done that. Because the only there's only been one person that legitimately didn't have a mic that did that, that we spent 30 minutes forcing them to switch over to. Uh, and that the person that was allowed to stay on the phone in her car was pasty. She, <laughs> yeah. That was it. After Just canceling once before a problem okay enough behind the scenes talk you can go to patreon.com slash here to help podcast to hear more about flat earth and aliens and things that's usually where we do it is on the bonus episode not always but usually like for for weeks now that's been what we've been doing the actual show so we're hoping to change that yeah we're we're working on it we're gonna do dear abby's but first i have a Dr. Proctor question. I oh, shit. First one ever. Dr. Proctor. First one ever. All right. Do, 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 do. Is it about styes? Because pick at it. That's what I know. It's, it's not about styes, but that's great advice. Thank you. Just pick at it like I did for like 10 minutes this morning before work. I, just, I was like touching it. And I'm like, is that a zit? And then like I like looked up pictures and I was like, they're like, that's a sty. And I'm like, I thought yeah. that was a sty. And then they were like, how do you treat a sty? They were like, eye drops if it itches, but otherwise just wait. And then they go, like, don't pick at it, was what they said. And I, I They say that about scabs too. Nobody listens. Well, dude, you shouldn't pick at scabs. I got scars. No, you shouldn't. Because I pick the scabs. It's so hard. It's so hard. Well, some it, of them. I have to I have to leave like a bandage over it. I yeah. have to. 
Well, yeah, you just, should. I just, I don't even pick at it. I just want to like poke it. <laughs> you know, like, it's yeah. like, I shouldn't be doing that. Well, you should, because you should put the goddamn Neosporin. Yeah. That which you gotta it's keep a bit moist. Holy crap. Neosporin is amazing. So it put is. it on. It, it's so good. I didn't keep the Neosporin on long enough on one of, uh, uh, one of these scabs that I had recently. And it's, uh, uh, I have a scar because of it and I'm really upset. Yeah. You know, regret, dude. Well, I get I, sometimes you just get scars anyway, though. I had a, a burn and I kept Neosporin on it. I changed it out all throughout the day to make sure, and it's still scarred pretty bad. It's a big old triangle shaped burn scar on my mm. wrist. It's huge. That was a bad burn, though. Okay, but the I'm Dr. Just, Proctor I'm just, question. I, I'm, just, I'm just shocked that you have a triangle shaped meth pipe. I mean, that's neat that you would have that, it's usually just a bulb. Geometric, you yeah. know? I can't even can't even believe cool. you could burn crystal in that. But... Well, it's glass. <laughs> <laughs> this is not. I do not do those drugs. Okay. <laughs> I don't do the sort of drugs that require light bulbs. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like in or any Lovick. drugs. <laughs> to be clear, I just specifically it is not a crack pipe burn or a meth pipe burn. It was my hair straightener. Call that the Hunter Biden special. Right? Dear Convicted Dr. on all charges. Republicans celebrate, yeah. right? Huh? I, I we all cared about that, right? We all gave yeah, a shit. He's, I don't know because I was reading some of the things that were said about him. He seemed like a pretty nice guy. He's not. He's, <laughs> he's, a, pe he's like, not. He's a pedophile. Well, the the non pedophile stuff, like some of the girls, like some of the whores that were not children, were just like, yeah, he was really nice. He just got up and started smoking crack, and he was really nice to me. <laughs> Yeah, but their standard is like, I wasn't murdered that day. That's fair. Uh, That's a good point. But yeah, I mean, as always, we're going on the record here. Um, yeah, I think all the charges against Hunter Biden are bullshit. They should have focused on the real charges. But guess what? Not my problem. My boy Hunter. Free my boy Hunter and Trump. Make them fight. Let's do a thing at UFC. Trump versus Hunter. Hunter probably I'd, kick his I'd ass. I like that. Um, yeah. It's a lot younger. Yeah. I'd watch it, though. I mean, I would definitely watch it. I'd watch that. I would rather see Trump and Biden fight. It's a little bit <laughs> at least I don't want to see similar that, in age. No, but that's just as bad. Like, Hunter Biden versus Trump is just as bad as Trump versus Biden in a... Dude, nobody... No, listen, I hate Joe Biden. Nobody even shake that man's hand too hard, please. He, he's going to die. Yeah, be, be careful with him. Just be gentle. He poops himself. In France, I would shit in France. Then, actually, now that I think about it, Joe Biden rules. Because if I was on stage in France, I would shit all over the stage, too. They wouldn't notice anyway. France stinks. Like, they literally does. smells bad. Fuck you, Arpad! Let's do the show. Yeah. Thank you. Dear Dr. Proctor, I got a spider bite, and it's starting to look gnarly. What do I do? My friend almost lost her leg to one last year, and the doctors were like... Sorry, we just have to let it run its course. So I'm assuming it actually got better and she didn't lose her leg because she said almost. Well, if she almost lost her leg, I mean, what? Are, where are you going to a doctor? I ran? That's a brown recluse. The Midwest. <laughs> no, they know all about brown recluses in Midwest. Yeah, you would think. You would think they would want to help you. Um... I mean, if it's starting to look gnarly, if you see any, like, skin decay, then, yeah, you got to go to the emergency room. Otherwise, um... Antibiotics, right? I, I would say, yeah. Get if it's going to get infected. Yeah, I I, I, I was just going to say put some Neosporin on it and, you know. Yeah. I think you'd be okay. And pick at it. Well, I mean, you got to pick at it. You have to get you have to get the eggs out. There's no eggs in a spider bite. What do you think they're doing in there? Why do you think it swells up? What no, do you think that, is under the surface? That's the venom. They're just mad at you. That's the no. anger. No, spiders, okay, look, when they lay eggs in you, There's it's eggs. different. No, that's different. They do that in your ear at night. And well, they do that in your mouth at night. They can too. also do that, yeah. And that's why if you ever wake up and you like you got a little like layer of like kind of you think it's like white phlegm over your uh, mm -hmm. over your tongue. It's not what you ate before. It's not. Nope. That's spider eggs. So that's why I use a tongue scraper every time. I de-egg them. I de-egg my tongue every morning. 
And that's then I wear earplugs too. That way spiders can't get in there. That's a good that's good advice. Get a sleep mask because prevention. I mean the eyes. Yep. That's they, probably what's going on with your sty. That's what I think is I think they got like one of the eggs in there. It probably won't hatch, but it might. I gotta push it out with my finger. I hope it my does dirty soon finger. so it could just get out. I mean, it would be cool if I was just looking at somebody and a spider <laughs> crawled out of my head. They get work. That would be the like, best. Sorry about that. I was just, you know, just waiting for that to happen. <laughs> it would be great. It would be a great way to close a presentation. It's like, and we're going to bring <laughs> the best value for you. And then a spider crawls out of my eye and they're like, okay, I guess we have to do this or uh, be dragged down the hell. <laughs> So. <laughs> it's not bad but no it's uh yeah it put being uh, it put some uh, neosporin on it you got to put neosporin on it that yeah, t- the that's spiders really all you can do spiders anger is like down there in you dude i don't know what you did to him but if your friend almost lost a, a leg don't go to that doctor because that doctor was like indian or something like that get a jewish doctor because they know all about spiders do they yeah, I think so. All right, then. Go to the Jewish doctor. <laughs> well, no, because, like, the Indian doctor, he's probably, like, you know, he's like, ah, I swat them away or whatever. It's like, well, you have an immunity to them. They're always around you. Yeah. They, they don't know what they're talking about. It's kind of like how the Chinese pediatricians don't understand that breastfeeding exists. They're like, you're starving your child. Why have you not given your child formula? Yeah. It's like, okay, look, dude, I realized that in China... You don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in China, okay? <laughs> like, Just get you a nice Rosenblattstein goddamn doctor. He's going to treat yeah. your spider bite. Because honestly, yeah. They're scared of the flu, dude. You get them to treat your spider bite, they're going to like, oh, God, let's get you to the ER. <laughs> You can't do the voice. <laughs> You're not allowed to do the voice like that. Right? Oh, no. You've been bit by a spider. It's not the worst one I've ever heard, dude. That's so bad. You've been bit by a spider. We gotta go. We got to get you some help. Oh. oh, no. Oh. Okay, stop. Stop it. What? That's a respectable <laughs> doctor in Brooklyn. <laughs> it just... That's how they sound. That's how in Brooklyn. A, that's how a doctor in Brooklyn sounds. You're right. Hello, nice to meet you. My name <laughs> is uh, Doctor Brookenstein. Oh, yeah, I see you have a spider bite. That's uh, that's absolutely terrible. My family has been here for for years. I can't believe you would uh, make the connection, but yes, we do own the entire place. <laughs> <laughs> That string up there. That's, that's, that's ours. <laughs> Passed down for generations. You see, I... I, I no, okay, wait. stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. I, we can't do this right now. This is really funny, though. <laughs> I don't know. Just... Why I want to keep doing this. We can't keep doing this. What? Those guys exist. They're like... They do exist. But right now... They're doctors, I lawyers. Feel... They, I feel like they run they the would media. Think this and the is weather. very funny. Recently, they've gotten a little touchier, though. Oh, that is true. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like now is just not the time. You know? They are kind of mad about that. But we're not so, college. We're not queer college kids, though. So I think it's okay. Yeah, we're not as dangerous as well, the like, binaries in the colleges that I mean, I don't know. If they asked me, they were like, oh, where do you stand? I'd be like, well, not with those fucking dorks over there with the pink hair. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. You know, I'm not going to be 100% on anybody's side, but uh, those guys are throwing bricks and you guys are just killing people way far away from me. Yeah. (laughs) There's there's things that affect me and things that do not. Yeah. Just one of these people is blocking traffic on all my nerves and you guys are just... The normal amount of on my nerves because I swear this coupon was good yesterday. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, so I'm on their side. I'll deal with them. From Twitter, we have therapist was fat phobic, so it's canceled. Was explaining to her that I don't like the idea that people will treat me better just because I lost weight. And she was like, 
What's wrong with people wanting to be nicer to someone who looks like they've put more love and effort into themselves? See, this is so another she- example of Jewish people winning. Because that, yeah. uh, you're nothing but, like, dude, all therapists are Jewish. And that's a Jewish lady. And I'm sure she has big cans, dude. I like Probably. that. I'm picturing her with big cans. And, I would assume so. Yeah. And she's right. She's right. No, she literally is right. I think it's so funny to to recognize, like, hey, there's something, you know, my thinking isn't quite right. So I'm going to go to a therapist to help me. But the therapist told me something I don't want to hear. Yeah. Gave me another way of thinking about something. That's a bad therapist. That therapist is fine. What do you think therapy is? What do you think? Look, this is why therapy is useless. Is because all people want from it is to go in there and be listened to and be told that they're right about everything and everyone else is wrong. And heck yeah, you go girl, yes queen. And otherwise, you're going to get fired as their therapist. It's like this is this is a problem on a societal scale. And also, you do look like you put more love and effort into yourself when you lose weight because eating that much food is a, it's an addiction, and addictions mm-hmm. come from dark places. Addictions are not just like oops, I tried crack once and now I'm an addict. Like no, no, there are things, there are problems not... that lead up to that. Like you have problems in your brain that this therapist is trying to help you with. I don't think that having an addiction comes from a dark place. I think it could um, just come from being a cool guy and having a fun time. Yeah. I think that yeah. maybe you're just addicted to just being funny and cool. Being a laid back yeah. guy. So you think that if you didn't have an addiction, you wouldn't be funny and cool and laid back? Oh, well, I don't have an addiction. So you're using it to change something about yourself that you don't like. Oh, no, So there's no, an no. underlying No, problem, no, no. It's, is it's, what you're saying. It's nothing like that. I'm just, uh, it's like performance enhancing drugs. Right. Okay. Yeah. And people who do that are whacked in the head too. Oh, okay. So fucking Lance Armstrong sucks, idiot. He would yeah. out bicycle you any day, even without the he drug can... drug fucking blood transfusions that he did. How old is he? Like ninety? He'd still win both of us. There's no way that man can out bicycle me right now. Are, are he was I Lance am Armstrong? Youthful and spry. He was Lance Armstrong. I don't care if he went to the moon. What does that have to do with well, spy? <laughs> he did bicycle to the moon. Okay, no bearing on bicycling with gravity. That was with performance enhancing drugs that he went to the moon, though. But like just normal Tour de France, mm. it's totally clean. That's what I remember. Live strong, bitch. Live strong. I had the bracelet. Who didn't? I didn't have a real bracelet. I didn't. We were poor, but like kids had a bracelet. <laughs> and then I had one that kids said WWJD bracelet. on it, which was the same. Remember that trend? What would Lance just, Armstrong do, I think? I, I also was bad at reading. You're still bad at reading. The I read one real time good. I had you read something on this show, it's like, okay, I can't. I read real good. Yeah. I read it up. I'm like, you know, I'm reading your face right now, and it says old. It's not. I look wonderful. There was, the lady told me I had good collagen production. Oh, is it uh, a lady trying to sell you something? No. Yeah, maybe a little bit though. Yes. Yeah. She was. Someone bought me a facial as a gift, and the lady was trying to sell me on making another appointment for in a month immediately. You seem you like good that... collagen production, but prevention, prevention is what we're going to focus on. And also, you need to buy this retinol, but this brand from me, it's two hundred dollars. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know. That's how much like two ounces of retinol for two hundred dollars. That's how much face l- riddling costs or whatever. Dude, that was a bad day. It's painful. It's bad. I do hate I will that. Tell you. I, I, if I so what you what you're really getting at is isn't it gay to go out to a relaxing day, and then it's nothing but people trying to sell you shit. Yes. That is what every goddamn day is like on a phone, and it's starting to piss me off. I like Taco Bell. I'm a big fan. I like fast food in general. I'm a, a you know, mm-hmm. low type of food type of guy. Like, I like yeah. fast food. You know, like, I wouldn't call myself a foodie, but, like, I like fast food. Taco Bell comes out with a new item. I have to go try it. Uh, is it the cheese it thing? 
Yeah, I've tried it. It's okay. The tostada is not fine. My husband said um, it was bad. Well, no, the uh, the the cheesy gorgita to crunch, I like or cheesy uh, uh, crunch wrap supreme. I liked better than the regular crunch wrap, but I'm not a crunch wrap person. Uh, I thought it was fine. Um, but he was saying it just doesn't taste like a cheese it. That's like what under I liked. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what I liked. But the tostada, I really hated. Not hated, but didn't like the crunch wrap. It just didn't taste like a cheese it. But I did like it better than the regular crunch wrap. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just not a crunch wrap guy. Um, I had today a cheesy gordita crunch, a chalupa supreme, uh, a beefy five layer burrito, uh, and uh, cheesy fiesta potatoes. Wash it down with a uh, a Baja blast, obviously. All right, it's a great day. Okay, yeah. Really that's fat day. Really fat that's day. A, that's a lot of food. Yeah, it was. I was. I. I kind of. Are you hated okay? Myself. No, I hated you myself. Wanna talk about it. <laughs> like like your emotions i mean <laughs> I, I i didn't care for what i did after but that's that's just what happened okay that's why pencils have erasers i dude i mean what they need is like psyllium husk uh you know metamucil something uh but you know i i'm a big fan of that what was i talking about i just like talking about <laughs> You, uh, you, a, a salesman, were complaining about how you're being sold things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, Do you I ever think that's how people think of you? Yeah, hundred percent. But okay. I don't care about those people. I'm Just not an sure. app. I'm not an app notification. I don't care for that. You're worse. It's yeah, because I'm real. I'm I'm an actual person calling yeah. you and going like, hey, what's up? That's way oh god, worse. that was a creepy. Hey, what's up? That's terrifying. Oh, people, I would love, people very love it. Upset. They love it. They love it. Like, hey, how are you? One of those. I'm a real life fucking. Back in when I was a kid, <laughs> people had to avoid telemarketers. Now we just call them spam calls because I can't imagine anybody buying anything over the phone that they didn't meet a person first with. Uh, and that's still a job. I get those on my phone all the time. But, okay, I don't even look at those as a thing. Those are just, like, a, a, a chance for me to call somebody gay or something like that. And like, yeah. You know, it used to be fun to, like, fuck with telemarketers, and now it's just, like, I don't know. I'm, like, learning Indian words to say faggot. Like, it, it's a whole new realm, whole new world here. But... Those notifications piss me the fuck off. And I always feel like I'm just being sold something every fucking day of my goddamn life. And I, I don't like, I, as somebody that, you know me, as somebody that loves buying shit. Yeah. Look at what Obsessively. I bought. Look what I bought the other day. Look, I've got two of these. It's a light. Nobody can see it. That I can turn on while I DJ. That's why I'm explaining because I'm good ball. at radio. Okay. So it's like, I plays a bunch of, you know, lights. That's fun. I got two of those from a DJ sets because that's fun, right? I love buying shit. I buy yeah. useless ass shit. Okay. Why is it my folks try to sell me shit? I hate it. I hate that. <laughs> Stop Calm it. Down. I will decide. I will decide. I don't need to be reminded McDonald's exists. I know it exists. Yeah, that's true. I eat there twice You're a right. week. I eat there twice a week. Twice a week? Sometimes they got How can you even eat the there twice a week in between your Taco Bell and your Wendy's and your, well, this is I've a been problem. To I've been to Wendy's in a month. Oh, okay. My goodness gracious. I've got points over there, but I'm still mad at Wendy's. Yeah. They fucked up my fucking uh, look. They did it. I texted you about it. Tell the people this is true. I texted okay. you about this when they fucked you, up my pretzel baconator twice. Dude, they did it twice. Yeah, you texted me each time. Yeah. And then they messed something else up, either before or after, because I'm pretty sure there were three times. I'm done with it. <laughs> I've got points over there where I can so get a, a Dave single, and I don't even fucking care. <laughs> but yeah, I'm none of you that know. is relevant to anything else we were talking about, by the way. And I don't really know what to say you are. Well, I'm just mad. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I think that we were talking about something. Yeah, I'm tired um, of people trying to sell me stuff when I buy yeah. too much stuff already. And also, by the way, everybody go out there. You know what is the best goddamn 
Fuck clothing store that you can get reasonably priced clothes at is mm-hmm. fucking Hollister, my guy. Get out there at Hollister and support Hollister. This episode not brought to you by Hollister, but um, I'm ahead of the game here, and you're going to love it. Go to Hollister. Buy some Hollister clothing. It's pretty great. I bought a pair of joggers, three pairs of shorts, and a shirt the other day. Congratulations. I got a slip dress uh, from Target and, like, a romper. Target's too expensive. Target's too fucking expensive. You need to go to the mall stores. Target, uh, the slip dress I got was only 30 bucks. That's pretty good. You could get something better for $30 or less at Hollister. Hollister. Well, I'd have to go and check. I might not like their styles at all. I've never seen women's Hollister clothes, I don't think. Uh, they, like when I was in high school, Hollister was big, but it was all like the guys wearing it. I don't remember I, if women were wearing it. I didn't notice because it was just normal. It may like, be t-shirt ju- and jeans. Well, it may be just guy stuff. I didn't check out the lady stuff, but I'm I'm calling it now. I bought my uh, original Hollister stuff several months ago, and I said, "God damn, this is fucking amazing!" And then now I'm calling so it. They have good pants. They've got great pants. I get all my jeans from White House Black Market because they make jeans a little longer, right? Anywhere else I buy pants, I look like I'm wearing a child's pair of pants. Like, they're all pants, even the ones that say long on the tag, right, are capris on me. Yeah, I don't know. Unless I go to White House Black Market, then they fit perfectly to not, to basically, like, right above the shoe. Not like above the ankle, but like above the sole, mm-hmm. you know, so it doesn't drag on the ground. Like they hit me perfectly. They fit perfect lengthwise. So that's all. Why I are you They're trying like $120. To, why are you trying which to. Which is too much. For jeans? That's great. And, no, it, I have a, I, I'm fine with having a few pairs of the nicer, but I kind of want stuff that I can like play with my kids in the yard in too. That also I can wear to the store and not look like I'm wearing children's clothes. You know, like I want cheaper stuff too. Why are you? Saying. Why are you trying to get the ankles of your jeans below your ankles? Do you have really hideous ankles? No, Do they have I'm, warts I'm on them saying or what's up? that they go not even halfway down my calf. Like I would like pants to cover my legs in the winter. I don't know. You know, like I don't know. Go to bed. I mean, like just go to where you belong. Men's big and tall. Yeah, that's. Oh my god. (laughs) One time, I was like, I I was telling my husband that I need to buy more pants, but that you know it's hard to find some that are long enough and stuff. And he's like, we'll go to the women's big and tall. And I was like, are you? You don't say that to me. I am not big and tall. It's not my fault. I, I don't even know if they've got a women's big and tall, to be honest. I know they got a women's <laughs> fat as shit. It's called like. Uh, some, I uh, think there's one like 45 minutes away. Yeah, I don't know if they've just got like a. I would love to. Dude, okay, look, for all the single men out there in the Discord, look at you, Matchless. Uh, get your ass over to your closest tall women's store and just be Find weird an, at them. You'll have an Amazon queen. That, I mean, literally, that's not a good, uh, that's not a, like a terrible idea. No. Okay. Let me tell you something. Because they're alone. Women, women that are tall. Okay. They're either models like, or they're Abby. And Abby just okay, knocked whatever. out. She just got knocked up. She got I'm lucky. Gorgeous. I'm beautiful. Okay. Is that mayo gorgeous. on your lip or is I that a put, giant? No, it's zip? not. I told you I got scratched <laughs> across the face and it looks real nasty right now. Okay. Because it's like not fully scabbed over, you know? And so I covered it with foundation so you wouldn't have to look at my so it'll get open wound. So it'll get really weird and pus. I don't up. care. I'll cleanse it out later with whatever. Okay. You, I'm. Yeah, it's going to be cool, dude. You're so smart and cool, dude. You're nailing it. I was trying to get into dating advice, which is the point of this show. Sure, yeah. I don't know if you've forgotten. Well, I I also I think the bachelor legitimately thinks that we run a show trying to help people, so we should try to help him and then clip it and then send it to him in the Discord. Yes, we should because I want to get him to. He 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 swears he never listens to the show, so I want to get him to listen to the show. So matchless. 
go to the ladies' tall store. Yeah. Do uh, but look for Adam's apples and big hands and shit because I'll bet a bunch yeah. of drag queens, you know. For sure. Actually, honestly, I'm I'm I was I've been hoping that this whole like trans thing gets more and better women's <laughs> shoes in bigger sizes. I mean, I don't think I've ever you admitted my shoe size online, hell. but I might just do it. Okay. I Maggie need hell. I need size, size nine. 10. 10. Oh my god. <laughs> I was size nine before I had kids, but there's a hormone called relaxin, which helps like your, your pelvic bones kind of spread out so that you could have a baby, but it also will make like your hands and feet get longer. And sometimes it goes back after it, sometimes it doesn't. So I went up a half a size with two pregnancies and the other one I didn't. So only went up one size. So, it's I just, so Okay. So it's just proven then that as women have children, they become more undesirable. It doesn't. What? What does it matter? Well, I think that the Honestly, stats. I think you know? the stats prove that. No, I meant the foot size. Well, I don't know if you got fucking Bigfoot. Listen, we've been looking for Bigfoot on the show for years. Here it's you go. Just me. It's it's just me. CIA. It's Bullshit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jordan. Anyway. What's up, Shaq? <laughs> Brain's just jealous. No, I have I have small feet, but they're not like Chinese girl feet. Please don't pull them out again. <laughs> they're good feet, man. They're okay feet. I mean, they're like fine. nobody fine. wants if to. If you're into that sort of thing, I'm sure it's fine. Well, no, if you're into men's feet, then you're not okay. But if you're into Abby's feet, you're desperately degenerate. Oh yeah, Abby looks a fucking size fucking <laughs> twelve men's type of fucking. <laughs> It's ridiculous. You know what the nice You're thing is? You're a basketball player for you, dude. What I is, share what shoes is... with my husband. That's terrible. Because he wears a men's size nine, so it's the same size. That's my shoe. That's my feet. Brittany Griner. Great. I can just wear his shoe boots. Shoe size. I mean, his boots. <laughs> oh, okay, this can't be real. Brittany Griner's shoe size is 17. That's not right. She's she's huge. She's way bigger than is me. She really? She's on like testosterone or something. She's way taller than well, me. Well, it's she's a guy. A massive, massive person. Oh, that's I a guy. I don't know if it is a guy or not because. Um, that's a guy. Have you heard her talk? Well, okay. She's like, no, hey, but listen, Brittany Griner. I think she's on testosterone. Probably. That's uh, she didn't. I think it's a woman. I think it's a biological woman that is on testosterone and also got really muscular. Uh, Kate, Kate, Caitlin Clark, she's a new WNBA. Oh, I don't have anything on her shoe size. Caitlin Clark, you read it. Caitlin Clark's shoe size? Uh, they're saying maybe a size 13 women's over on basketball. This is, this is Reddit. Those women are way, way taller than me, though. She's, basketball uh, players? I mean, you're fucking 6'3", dude. They're taller than that. Hold on. Caitlin Clark height. I don't think she's that tall. I also, yeah, she's six foot. Also looks like a man, by the way. Also looks like Leah Thomas. All right? Man. Kaylee Clark looks like Leah they've gotta, Thomas. They've got to be on testosterone, right? Performance enhancing drugs. I think they test them, but I would hope not. Because, like, Jesus. Kaylee Clark was apparently way better. Uh, I haven't watched any of that shit. But apparently, like, she's pretty good. I know Brittany Griner was okay, but, like, she only got, like, popular because of the getting kidnapped by Russia shit. Mm -hmm. um, for... For the crime of breaking drug laws, um, you know, let me bring pot to Russia. What are you crazy? Get pot there. Like, like, yeah, that was dumb. I don't know. Well, they shouldn't have locked her up that long, but. No, 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 no. That's a way outsized for. It's, dude, an American? It's, a, it's, it's an, um, not even just an American, but like an American whose name would make headlines because she's got some sort of celebrity like for locking her up it's just stupid but whatever well hold on like if you want to lock up the people in your own like your own people fine don't care well no there's this the the guy that should be let out uh evan uh gerchkovich the dude that uh tucker brought up in his interview um <laughs> 
should have let him out before fucking Brittany Griner. But I like I don't care if these people agree with me or not, anything like that. Every fucking time I say if there's an American overseas criminal or not, it's the president's job to go get him. And then yeah. we'll deal with Punish them at them home. Here yeah. if it's illegal. But yeah, look, it's our country, man. I, the, the, the Omar, uh, what, Otto, uh, wine beer thing, it pissed me off my, all of the Obama presidency. Uh, and then Trump got him back and then they were like, oh yeah, uh, here he is. And they were like, okay, he's dead. And they were like, yeah, oops. And then Trump became friends <laughs> yeah. with the guy and that pissed me off. Uh, cause they killed him. Um, but you know, okay, no, no, let's get back to the, I didn't even give my advice to. Oh, my advice is don't. My yet. advice is don't go to Russia or North Korea. Yeah, don't do that. But also, though, very tall women. It's not quite the same as short men necessarily, but they're certainly not. Like, it doesn't matter how pretty you are if you don't have like the model thing going on, like super skinny with a weird face and huge cheekbones. <laughs> like, yeah. if you don't look like a model and you're tall. You're not very desirable to men, especially tall men. Tall men love tiny little women. Well, everybody likes those. But, like, also, there's, like, a weird thing where, like, you know, because I'm 5'6", right? Like, if mm-hmm. there was, like, a, you know, 6'4 girl that was into me, I would think that that would be, like, a cool accessory to, like, me going around, you know? Like, that it's would like be a, cool. a fetish thing at that point. It's not too, a fetish because it's not sexual. I'm just thinking of a more, like... um you know, more That's like a pair, a pair of shoes, you know, than a person. She's a pair of shoes. Yeah, it's just like something, kind of like an armband or a purse or something. Man, that's really, well, it'd just really be disgusting. No, no, I, I, I love it uh, that you know she's around or whatever. Do you don't love her? It's a person, it's a well, human no. being. No, I love Erica. But okay, but what if Erica <laughs> was six foot tall? Is what we're saying. Then it'd be a really cool accessory to what I do. Okay, well, because like imagine I should... imagine I'm I imagine I'm fucking DJing right, and then all of a sudden comes this monstrosity. <laughs> you know, monstrosity. It'd be like this God. whole giant thing. He's got a duck under the fucking lights, and then people were like, "Whoa!" Because if you're like a short guy and you're like. You get a really tall broad. People were like, what happened? They're curious. Now, all of a sudden, she's and you are a subject of conversation. Well, honestly, though, a tall woman w- understands the plight of the short man well enough. That's true. And also is not going to be hung up on you must be a foot taller than me because she's never going to find that. My husband is my height. He's literally like half an inch, maybe an inch taller than me. And so when I wear my four inch heels, I six foot one. That's a lot taller than he is. Um, it's interesting. Like I look like a model. It is kind of like you saying, never just like a cool accessory thing. It is a cool look, accessory shut, thing. Shut your you mouth. never. Look I like am that. not shut your mouth. I've got like a thin thing going on and a tall thing. Being emaciated like, is not a, a what? What? Oh, is it? Oh, what okay. do you think they look like? What do you think a model looks like? Do you think I, they look healthy? When was the last time that you watched a fashion show? I've yeah. Seen some pictures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they look like, dude, that Pariah the doll dude is a model. Like, no. All you've Have seen, you seen is Instagram. Person? You know nothing. No, I don't think so. But let me look him up. It's a, a doll, just like a, a trans model. They call themselves Pariah dolls. the doll. Is it, oh, who's themselves? Uh, oh, ew, weird. What the fuck? That's a model. That's what a model looks like. She's he. They're famous. Like they. Well, there's one. Okay, hold on. There's one photo where I'm like, okay, this is like this looks fine. A lot of these I'm are just saying, terrifying. Like this yeah. one. Hold on. This, this like this looks fine. I'd be like, okay, that passes. Like you know, that looks like a, a model. Uh, the yeah, rest for of a this model, is this creepy. The person doesn't bother posing in pictures very prettily, unfortunately. But uh, they're like five ten, I think. I've asked them before. So you're, said, you're, you're stop saying them. That's a man. Sorry, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This okay. Republican show. 
I he 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 man it's a man okay I'm trying so hard to just focus on the matter at hand without being political about it and it's just confusing me okay D O N L A wait I spelled it wrong T R U M P Trump. My point is, okay, Donald Trump. I get to my look point. emaciated and funky and still look like a model. Okay? My point is, trust the plan. The, I also great get to have ten foot, the ten size ten feet, and look like a model. Okay, all of these things fit in. Okay. No, I I think that you walk around with fucking clown shoes like a weirdo, dude. So I found this Google search history list like if you look up a certain thing there's like suggested whatever okay right mm -hmm. we're moving on to the next thing if you didn't notice uh why can't you blow, blow dust off a shelf anymore why can't you blow dust off a shelf anymore is dust stickier than it used to be what? has dust changed is dust different you can't blow dust anymore these are all google searches that came up <laughs> like is that true I don't know. Is it? Have you noticed? Because you know what I've noticed is at least since we moved into this house, which would be four, almost five years, five years, it would have been five years. It might just be this house, but it's a newer house than my old one. So I don't know, but there's dust everywhere constantly. I'll dust and the next day it's the, the shelves are coated in dust again, right? Like things are getting dusty. Okay. No, I have some dust right here. Of like, it's been sitting here for a long time. Yeah. This is, is one of my- Is it sticky here? Is it like hard to blow off? Try to blow it off. With the... Did it work? I mean, like it didn't all go away. Is it, it are you did, noticing it moves... a difference? No, okay. it's, it seems to act like dust. Uh, this has been here for a <laughs> while. Act like dust. Like, like the reason it's been there, I mean, like this is this has been sitting here since I moved in in the same location. So um, it's like what a year? No, I think uh, we've been here a year and a half, probably. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I know time moves fast. Uh, it seems like normal dust, I guess. I mean, like it makes me feel gross now that I see all the dust yeah you're just it. wiping it all over your hands and yeah I, I mean i don't like that but it's all over you now well i you know i don't use my vr setup very much but um this is what i want this the listeners from. to weigh in on this has anyone observed that dust is stickier than it used to be well what has is it the mean? dust changed no but i think that like people were just like imagining dust like dust off of an old book that you found in a tomb where it just where you just blow it, it up goes away. that's dust has ever been like that it's not like that otherwise well that's because that was like dirt and sand because it's in yeah. like a freaking tomb underground but yeah yeah i, I, I don't think not... dust has ever been like that like I, everything's connected by cobwebs and stuff no, I think that the, whoever. I swear there's more cobwebs too. This probably like they just. I have to wipe my walls down. It's because of the spiders that crawl out of your eyes at night and build webs and abandon them because they hate you. They do hate. My family hated me the last time I killed a spider. There was one up on a web in the corner. It's like a house spider, the tiny little harmless things, right? Yeah, leave them be. And I was about to get it down because I hadn't noticed it for a couple days and I was going to. Uh, I was going to get it, okay, with the broom, right, up in the corner. My husband decided to name it in front of the children. Oh, yeah, you can't kill it, huh? And then that's I waited. A, that's I waited. Move, I let it sat there. I think he was, like, testing me. Like, this is a shit test, clearly. Like, what did he expect me to do here? Like, do I clean the cobweb? And be, what are you, are you I'm okay? cleaning my screen a lot. Now he's worried about dust. <laughs> It's well, just I just like now I'm noticing fidgeting. dots uh, on there, and yeah. I gotta I gotta clean this. I it's probably because you first. blew the the dust at it. Yeah, maybe. But um, anyway, and so I gave it a good two weeks. I let that spider, Delilah, sit up in the corner of good the spider. dining room for crying out loud. Not even like a bedroom or a hallway. The dining room, okay. And uh, I let it sit up there for so long, and then 
when nobody was around and nobody was looking, I got it out of there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cleaned up the cobweb, every, or the spider web, everything's fine. I thought they wouldn't notice. They noticed that day. As soon as, as soon as we sat down to eat dinner, what happened to Delilah? She left. Mommy, did you kill Delilah? I know you killed, like, just immediate Yeah, accusations. she left. Were true, but. You killed this spider? I killed, I, I just kind of brushed it away. Oh, you uh, see, I, I had. I just wanted bo- the web gone. It's ugly. It's in my corner. I don't care if there's tiny spiders there. Oh, yeah, I, anyway. yeah, everybody loves goth clothes until it's time to live like a goth, huh? Uh, fucking uh, look, dude. <laughs> spiders in the mud. Yeah, okay, dude. No, I don't no. want to. You're a live dick. With You're spiders. a dick. You're a dick. I lived with a spider in my studio back in Ohio for fucking ever, and then he got really big, and I was like, <laughs> okay, it's time for you to go. And I, I've lived with this. I, I got him in a cup, and then I put him outside, and then like three minutes later, it was torrential fucking downpour of rain. And I'm like, he's never lived like that. He's never gonna make it, dude. And Just I think like he the died. Just like the spider. I think, yeah, I think he died. And Erica maintains, no, he was fine. But it's like he only lived in my room, dude. He didn't know. That's true. If you if you domesticate a wild animal and then release it into the wild, that is a problem, depending on the animal. I felt so bad. If I would have known, I would have waited until because the, the rain only lasted like mm-hmm. 20 minutes. But it was super rainy. And I just put him outside on a bush and was like, thank you for protecting my room from flies. You have a good day, whatever. (laughs) And immediately it just, and I'm like, he's fucking dead. He was there for like three months. He got (laughs) real big, dude. Like, I'm not kidding. Way bigger than a quarter. You know, once they get big, they got to go for sure. Dude, I I mean, I'd rather not have people come over while well, I just had a spider in the corner of my dining room. I already have a reputation in the family. This is ridiculous. Okay? Spider I'll lady, they call you. We're not doing the advice. We're doing a bad job once again. I don't oh, yeah. know if people like this or dislike it. And they care. need to give us feedback on it. I know you're listening. You people have your little text groups that you have not added me to where you're talking about us and saying that if I was a Marvel or DC character, I would be Robin? Wait, what, Robin? What, who am Kushka? I? Robin? Who am I? You're the penguin, which oh, is yeah. totally appropriate. You're, see, yeah, you. that's perfect. I like that. Robin? Why am I Robin? Oh, this I is can bullshit. See that. Oh, I can't yeah, I can be see Catwoman? Well, no, you're, Ivy? no you're, Ro- you're Robin because, like, <laughs> you're nothing without uh, somebody leading you. Way taller than Robin. You're nothing without somebody leading you. I'm the penguin because Danny DeVito. Because you eat raw fish. <laughs> you didn't find that. I don't even eat seafood. I don't even eat seafood. But also, like, you know, the penguin, he's got henchmen. He's got cool henchmen. But he also, like, he's just yes. wet. He's like, I'm going to be the mayor. He's, like, really concerned about being the mayor of Gotham. That's the well, Because he, that. he was denied his birthright, which Thank is Thank you. He was denied. I am a penguin supporter, to be perfectly honest See? with you. There you go. This Robin. Is no, Robin would not be a penguin supporter. Yeah, but you just you have Robin energy on that being oh a penguin gosh. supporter. This is ridiculous. You think no. No, I'm not. This is unacceptable to me. I think they're accurate. Can I be Bane? Like if I can't be a pretty girl, nobody can I be is, Bane? Nobody we know is Bane. Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Mr. Freeze if your husband dies. Yeah, I don't. Ice powers, though. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Your husband has to die before you have ice powers, dude. Like, yeah, you can't, but his whole motivation—his whole motivation was that his wife died, and he kept her alive, and then he got and ice the, powers. I know, I know. Don't sit here and try to he help Batman. her to try to cure her. Also, and... did you say Marvel Warrior earlier? Because it's definitely well, DC. It was, no, because they started with Marvel. No, they started with DC and then started adding Marvel. So I said Marvel and DC. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I was sending screenshots from a text group that I'm not in. That's yeah, all I, think I know. It's also, and I'm the revealing way, the information right now leaks. on air where they're all going to hear it. There's you leaks. people have shunned me and abandoned me. Well, I think you got to find out who the leaker is and cause interpersonal drama. I know who the leaker is because 
I got the links. Well, don't, 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 don't let them know. Keep talking shit. See what happens, ladies. I'll send you a picture of my butthole. Please don't do that. Okay, don't <laughs> harass the women that listen to the program. They're I good, them. nice women. I okay. <laughs> I will get Niles on them so quick, dude. Let me know the names. <laughs> That's penguin behavior, dude. That's penguin behavior. <laughs> That's true. That's fair. That is my penguin goons. behavior. My goons. I'm will defending get you. women. My goons, dude. In other news, Chinese tech companies reportedly hiring cheerleaders to motivate programmers. And I saw this and I thought, oh, yeah. that's a great idea. That rules. Just like a nice, pretty girl, like walking around, like, you got this. Yeah, good job coding. Like, well, Japanese people already do that. So, like, China trying to copy them. But the problem is, is it's like, if I was a Chinese coder, you know, I'd be worried that, like, I'm getting horny because uh, of my sister. Because you can't tell them apart. Yeah, that was a joke. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't hear a funny, uh, hear a funny joke about <laughs> Chinese people. Oh God. I um I went to a Chinese high school, and uh, I went to my. <laughs> what? I went to my I I went to my um reunion recently. Yeah. Everybody looks the same. Okay. <laughs> Could it have been less obvious? Even you're supposed to subvert it somehow. I think you just broke all the rules. Uh, I don't know. I didn't even come up with that. It was a uh, friend of mine. But yeah. Yeah. A genius, clearly. I liked it. Comedic it genius. <laughs> Why aren't they on this show instead? All right. Let's get a uh, Reddit story okay. going here. Do, 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 do. From our... Sl Please don't. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. Fart. <laughs> Into the mic. <laughs> oh, it stinks, dude. Yeah. You just farted right where you're supposed to put your face. I thought you're it so smart. I, I, I didn't think you're it would so live there. Smart. I didn't think it would live in that. Just what lives did in you a. I think it was going to do. I don't know. Dissipate. <laughs> you did not that quickly. You shoved your face right in it. Well, why does it live in the pot? Like in the, in the fucking mic and then live there. I, that, I hate that. <laughs> you hate that. It happens enough that that's a thing you just can say that you hate. It's okay. a mistake. <laughs> you, that's called karma. I was. <laughs> it's not. It's called talent. I'm making a show. Speaking of karma, I watched. I was walking through the hallway yesterday and saw my son try to hit one of the other kids, and like slip and fall backwards on his butt and go ow that hurt and i was i gave him a little less i told him what the word karma meant and like aren't you supposed to yeah. be christian why are you teaching him eastern philosophy goes around comes through. i told him you know what karma means bud it means he goes no what I yeah because he's what does that mean because he's and i said, <laughs> he's like, you know, like goes <laughs> listen here you little shit you know what karma means? Like, no, I'm fucking four. No, I don't know what that I weird said, shit means. It means what goes around comes around, huh, bud? And he's just like, what? And I went upstairs. <laughs> you sound like a good mom. Yeah. You sound like a real good mom. Because that's not yeah, what really? karma... That's not what karma means. And, it's not. And, you know, also, <laughs> you're just, like, dunking on him for falling. Is what you did. Yeah, the day before that, he woke up that morning and decided it was time to punch and kick me a bunch. First thing in the morning, okay? I, dude, I no, it's not just him. I have that same feeling. But I know. I, I know. Everyone I, wants to punch and kick me. I can't freaking leave the house. It's like... If you ever did, I'd find you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I put off some kind of weird pheromone that people do not enjoy, I think. Yeah, it's like uh like in The Last of Us. Like you just like you're like a little plant that people want to hit. Yeah. Or yell at. They also though want to compliment my hair. So we went to No, I have never uh we went to get some chicken. In fact, we hold on. For the record, have I ever complimented your hair? Or have I said, no. wow, you cut it again, huh? It's getting real short. You don't like my hair. That doesn't no. mean other people don't. You know who loves my hair? Lesbians. Women. 
we, well, so we were getting we we're getting fast food with the kids, and we're trying to order. And my husband was ordering, right? All of us together. I'm like four feet away from him, off to the side, because they only had one of the registers open. Only one person up there, anyway. So I wasn't blocking anyone, just keeping the kids in line. And he's trying to order, but they're not listening to him. And you could see him getting annoyed because they're not listening to him. They keep looking to me. And, you know, I'm thinking, like, why do they need my confirmation that this order is correct? You know, is it because I'm a mom that and is my kids and stuff? And it's like, it just keeps, like, they're not listening to him. They're not paying attention to him. They need him to repeat it. So, wait, you're at a and chicken place. So I repeat oh, you're, it. You're at a chicken place. In a chicken place. And, and the girls behind the counter are not are listening. Just, there's no Not way I would my end up on fucking World Star so fast. <laughs> because they keep looking at me and I look over, you know, and I'm like, I tell them some of the order and they get it down or whatever. And then finally, one of them breaks. She comes, she wasn't the one behind the register. She was like, she she was further away and kept looking at me also. So it was extra weird because she wasn't even like talking to us. And she comes over and she goes, look, I, I can't help it. I'm sorry. I have to tell you, I love your hair. It suits your face so well. It goes so well with your eyes. Your bangs are great. I just love it. And then the cashier girl who was not paying attention to the order the whole time goes, oh my gosh, I was just thinking the same thing. And I was like, I got to wait till he's done ordering to tell her that. And like, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And then the next day at church, I was walking out of the church. Oh, get, just wait, wait, wait. This, this we, girl stops me and goes, I love your hair. It's so cute. It's like, they, my hair is so good that people can't stop themselves. I don't know. I'm just, I, I hope that Dyke Chicken starts franchising around here because I want to <laughs> see what they, they have to say. This is a real story, Kentucky too. I, because Kentucky I didn't Dyke, say... Kentucky Dyke Chicken, that would have been there better. There you go! Yeah, that's that was good. Better. Kentucky Dyke Chicken. It took Chicken. a minute. That's fine. Sometimes it takes a minute. But um, but it, but I didn't say anything about that. I was just like, oh, they were so sweet. Girls are so sweet. The way that they do that, it's so sweet. And then later, um, I never said anything about the way they kept looking at me first and or anything. And later, uh, my husband goes, yeah, it was real sweet of them, but like... They were just staring at you, and they weren't paying attention to me. I was ordering, like I was. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, okay." So I'm not delusional. That was happening. Well, if he it was, was annoyed with it, if it was a salon and it was a bunch of hairstylists, that'd be one thing. When they're like fascinated by haircuts, and they're like, "Well, like he's a bald. Latina and a black girl." So he's, <laughs> like, he's bald. So like, no hair that we can do with that. Like that would be one thing. Yeah, but that's weird. That uh, yeah, I get it. At a chicken joint that. Um, you have a popular black girl haircut. That's cool. Because it does look like a wig. It does. It does look like yeah, a wig. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Is it looks like I just got a really good... Why does my hair look... It always has. You it do doesn't that. matter what hairstyle, you know. I've seen several hairstyles. You do that. You do that. It looks like a fucking... You, you look like Emo Phillips. And you don't get that reference... But the anybody that does get that reference is gonna laugh their ass off if they ever see you. You look like you got emo Phillips ass hair. It's crazy. I'm I'm just gonna not even look that up. I am gonna show you emo Phillips. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read this story because we have to do at least one Reddit story before we go. Okay. Okay. From R slash True Off My Chest. Today, my husband bought an 18 pack of Batman ice cream bars, like from the ice cream trucks, you know. I'm so jealous of how happy they this. made I almost sent you this. <laughs> you saw it? It's so cute. My husband works as a handyman and does odd jobs through the summer, and he did some work today near the company that manages or supplies local ice cream trucks. He went over and asked if he could buy a box of Batman ice cream bars, and they were happy to sell them. He was so excited when I got home today. He sang the old theme to the Adam West show as part of the reveal. When I mentioned that we already had ice cream, we got ice cream at home. Uh, the, his immediate response was, babe, that ice cream's great, but it's not in the shape of the world's greatest detective. So true. It's so true. To be clear, he didn't say it in a rude way, but in a this ice cream looks like Batman and it's fucking awesome way. Two of his friends came over to see and have Batman ice cream. Those with him. are guys from the neighborhood. They're not yeah. far away. They're just around. They just want some ice cream. I don't think anything has made that. It made me that kind of happy. 
Lots of other kinds of happy, but nothing like that. Maybe it's a guy thing. Maybe it's a Batman thing. Either way, I'm jealous and I don't want to be. So she's jealous that she has never felt this pure Batman ice cream <laughs> joy. Yeah. I'm pretty jealous too. That sounds well, amazing. Yeah, you know, listen, fellas, they hate to see us happy. Okay, that's the thing. Like, because here's the thing. Men want to understand the world. Women want to be understood by the world. Yeah. That is the difference. Women hate and to yet see you us people, happy. You would think that that would lead to men having an interest in women's interior lives because they want to understand the world. You're not part uh, of the world. And women want to be, under, it's, you know, this sounds like a complimentary thing, but it's not. Because men never want to understand women. I they would like we, to understand cars. I understand or women. I under, trains. I understand. Or, I understand. I understand you. That's I track your periods. I understand you. That's not understanding. No, of it's our rich yeah, but interior I'm, lives. I think it's more. It doesn't get more interior than that. And uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's a good fair point. You know, I'm good at tracking them. Uh, You're I'm not. Tra- I don't even You've try been to. wrong about mine for months. I haven't tried for months. Well, the last few times you were wrong. Okay, that's fine. I guess I, I guess this is a challenge to start tracking your <laughs> menstrual cycle again. It would be helpful in case I forget to write it down this month or something. Why are you writing it down? I mean, you just it. Because I need to know if I miss it. Next week. <laughs> I mean... Thank you. We're out of time for today, everyone. Yeah, it's... Thank you for listening and have a great week. Secure in the knowledge that we are with you. We're the only ones that are here to help. You can go. You can okay, go straight you to hell, go. you motherfucker. Uh, 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 I mean... <laughs> Not, uh, not far off. Patreon. Patreon.com slash here to help podcast. Go over there. That's good. Good Patreon over there. Is that how you sell things as a salesman? I right? say, no, am I going to listen here? Now, listen here. Oh, I gosh. found some gold in this hair, Patreon. <laughs> you can come on over. Go to the Patreon. Yeah, patreon.com slash here to help podcast. To send me a Dear Abby, you can join the Discord server. There's a uh, there's a schizophrenic homeless man in there. And it's then in the description. And then Niles is in there. And Patreon mm-hmm. is there's some uh, ladies. in there. And then there don't tell them there are ladies in there because we already have guys in there that are there to pick up ladies and it's fucking weird. No, no, no. It's I'm ruined the whole damn more thing. women. No oh, women yeah. are coming to a boys club. The only way we get more women in there is to tell them that there are already women there. Oh, here's how you do this. Listen, ladies, there's actually a whole women's only section of the Discord that you can just you can just not see any pictures of wieners at all. There's no pictures of unless okay, unless you're in the boys club channel, which I have muted and have they literally out. never looked in. Daily Cows. Okay. I, I need to ban the Discord more apparently, so I can Whoa, ban these people. You need to to, be so there? I can ban these people. You need to so, ban I, <laughs> so I can you ban about, these people. You heard about no. leaders, and you're like, I gotta be there now. No. What the fuck, man? I was lying about the wieners. Nobody's ever posted their wiener more than once in there. Okay, everyone. Each. You can. You can go on Twitter or X X. Sorry, it's X now. Yeah, you can go on we X. Res- we respect Elon Musk. This is uh, this is uh, Elon Musk, Matt Walsh, Dave Rubin, Donald no. Trump Jr. Okay, okay, podcast. This is enough. Okay, no, I I respect Elon Musk because no, he's the only one that's going to tell us about the mole people that he finds underground on Mars when he gets there. But he is one. He's a fag. Fuck Elon. Okay. Well, fine. 
And also, by the way. The point is, no, no, not also, by the way. I'm trying to close the freaking show out. Shut your mouth. At Octo Abby with an I on Twitter. You can DM me, dear Dr. Proctors, dear Abbies, okay? That person's uh, going to die us. of that spider bite, by the way. Oh, yeah. She's gone. That's, gone. that's, that's my bad leg. on that. that is not, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Don't tell them that. That ruins the bit. They're gonna die. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, everyone, thank you for listening. Uh, join us next week while I, when I'm on my period, and uh, have Nailed a great it. week secure in the knowledge that we are with you. We're the only ones you can trust. Are here to help. <laughs>